Hello, in this video we're going to look at finding the minimum point on cost curves. The average total cost, average variable cost, and marginal cost. In our first example, we have an average variable cost curve. And what we want to do is find the minimum point on this curve, uh, the point that corresponds to the lowest average variable cost. So we want to find the level of output that minimizes average variable cost. And then later on we'll look into issues dealing with the shutdown point. So the solution is to take the derivative of average variable cost, which is technically the slope equation or slope function for average variable cost, set that slope equal to zero, and then solve for Q. So taking the derivative of average variable cost, this thing we're trying to minimize, uh, we're going to get minus 4 plus Q. Bring the 2 down in front, 2 times 0.5 is 1. And then in the exponent here, 2 minus 1 leaves us just with Q. So solving for Q, Q equals 4. I'm not going to too, talk too much about second derivatives or second order conditions, but just to verify this is a minimum, if we were to take the derivative of minus 4 plus Q, we'd just get 1, and that's greater than 0, indicating we're at a relative minimum. Uh, along with this example now of average variable cost, uh, we want to find the shutdown point. And the nice thing about that is the shutdown point corresponds to the lowest point on the average variable cost curve. So if we were to take our answer from the first screen and plug Q equals 4 into the average variable cost, we're going to get the shutdown point. Average variable cost is $12 when evaluated at 4 units of output. This means that at a price below $12, the firm will not produce any units of output. The firm will shut down because the shutdown rule will be in place here. Anytime price is less than average variable cost means the firm cannot cover its variable cost, so it will minimize its losses by shutting down. Uh, another example here, this time we have a total cost equation, and we want to find where average total cost is minimized. So the first thing we need to do is get our average total cost equation. So I do that by dividing total cost through by Q. So 1,800 divided by Q, 10Q divided by Q just leaves us 10, and so on. And I'm just going to uh, follow the rules of exponents here and move this Q in the denominator into the numerator. This makes the next step a little bit easier because I can avoid the quotient rule when taking the derivative. So now we're going to take the derivative, taking the derivative of average total cost, bring down the minus 1 in front, and then Q to the minus 1 minus 1 gives us this first result up here. And then the derivative of 10 is 0, and the derivative of 0.5q is just 0.5. Solving this equation for q, moving down, moving down, uh, taking the square root of both sides, we see that q equals 60. At 60 units of output, average total cost per unit cost is minimized. And if we wanted to, we could evaluate average total cost at 60 units of output. That's, so that's all I do down here. Uh, I plug 60 into the average total cost equation and solve, and we get $70. Example 3, another total cost equation. This time we want to find the level of output that minimizes marginal cost. So we need to first get the marginal cost equation. We get marginal cost by taking the derivative of total cost. So the derivative of this equation, uh, we get 750. Uh, bring the 2 down in front, so minus 20q. Bring the 3 down in front, so the 3's cancel, leaving us with q squared. So that's marginal cost. We want to minimize marginal cost, so we need to take another derivative. So taking the derivative of marginal cost, the equation we're trying to minimize, we're going to get minus 20 plus 2q. Set that equal to 0 and solve for Q, Q equals 10. So we're at the minimum of marginal cost when output is 10 units. And example four, another total cost equation. Uh, this time you might be asked to find where average variable cost equals marginal cost. Uh, this is really, this is the same thing as asking where average variable cost is minimized. 
marginal cost will intersect average variable cost at its minimum point. So what we really need to do here is get the average variable cost curve and minimize it. And so that's what I'm going to do. So to get average variable cost, we need total variable cost. Total variable cost are these last three components on the right-hand side here, the 340Q minus 5Q squared, and then this last term. The 2500 is fixed cost, so we can ignore that. We just want variable cost. So I'm going to take this variable cost part of the equation and divide through by Q to get average variable cost. And that's what you see that I do down here. So after dividing total variable cost by Q, we get average variable cost. Taking the derivative of this expression, we get minus 5 plus 4Q divided by 3 setting that equal to zero and solving for Q. Average variable cost is minimized at 14 divided by four. And this is also the point of output at which average variable cost equals marginal cost. Um, and just a, another example using that same total cost equation, find the level of output that minimizes marginal cost. Here again, we get marginal cost. Once you have the equation you're trying to minimize, you take the derivative of it and solve for Q. And now to recap, uh, so first you need to get the equation you're trying to minimize. So that could be average total cost, average variable cost, marginal cost. Next thing you'll do is take the derivative of the equation you're trying to minimize, set that derivative equal to zero and solve for Q. Also, keep in mind you may be prompted to plug your answer in step two back into either average total cost, average variable cost, or marginal cost to get a dollar amount. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.